Burnley one win in seven matches. Charlton have been having a bad time at the wrong time. They didn't have much luck today either. Midfielder Paul Linger was stretched off with an ankle injury. It was just what manager Alan Kerbishley didn't need. And things just got worse for Kerbishley when Port Vale took the lead after 26 minutes. The Charlton defence didn't seem to be around and John McCarthy took full advantage. That meant Charlton had to attack. Bradley Allen had this shot saved and moments later, Stuart Barmer equalised for the Addicts. 1-1 at half-time became 2-1 soon after when substitute Sean Newton put Charlton in front. Port Vale had their chances in the second half, but Kerbishley's team defended well. And after 70 minutes, Bradley Allen made victory secure. So after a dodgy start, it turned out OK for Charlton, and they will almost certainly make the promotion playoffs now. Then John Robinson battled well to win the ball, but did even better to find the unmarked Bradley Allen. Charlton have been in the top six all season and they will surely make the playoffs now. I felt today was important. I felt that perhaps if we got a result here, uh, then that would have been enough, but it isn't. So we've got to go on. We've got a home game against Tranmere on Tuesday and we've got a home game against Sunday against Wolves and we've got to win one of them. Gone and set for major surgery. Watford with a terrific rearguard action to stay in the league. Reading, though, still aren't safe. And uh, Mark McGee takes his Wolves team there on Tuesday. That should be some occasion. Millwall are also looking nervous as well. At the top, then, Sunderland, the champions. But I reckon Crystal Palace and Derby are virtually playing today for that second place. Charlton home to Tranmere on Tuesday if they win that one. Charlton are definitely in the playoffs.